In the previous lesson, you just saw how easy it is to add an expense via smart scan, which, as a reminder, is where Expensify will smartly scan your receipt and pull out some of the critical information. In this lesson, we're going to look at just adding an expense. There may be situations where you don't want the smart scan, or you may not have the receipt, but you just need to add an expense, and then you get the receipt and add it later. And that's what this lesson is going to be about. We're going to show you how to do that. Let's see what this looks like. Adding an expense is essentially the same as smart scan, except without the smart part or the scan part. But seriously, adding an expense is really the same thing, except you don't have expensive, the Expensify app scanning the receipt to find the information for you. You have to put it all in yourself. So if we go to add an expense, I can still take a photo of the receipt by clicking here. And other than that, I can everything else works pretty much the same. But like I said, you have to do it all manually. So if I type merchant name, then I can say, okay, this was Brent's Deli. And it's useful if you can type well. And then the total is going to be the 7583. The date is going to be 1226. Oopsie. 2014, we'll set that. And it's got the category meals assigned. I can tag it, which is where I job cost it essentially, to go to Expensify. And just as I did with the smart scan, I can access the camera through the app by tapping the little camera icon here and take the photo of the receipt to finish it off. And there we have it. Now I'll click Save or tap Save. And it's done. And so notice it's got the, uh, the one that I've added in, Brent's Deli, that just says Brent's Deli. Uh, the smart scanning also has completed and it has the original one. So now I've got three copies of the same receipt. Um, but this way you get the idea. There's uh, several different ways of getting the same expense into Expensify so that we can decide what to do with it later on. And again, that's about as simple as it gets to uh, get an expense into Expensify, and then it's a matter of what we do with it from there as far as submitting a report, getting it reviewed and then approved, and then synced up to our accounting software. And that's, of course, what the rest of the course is going to be covering. But before we do, we'll finish going through the mobile app here. So in the next lesson, we'll look at tracking time. Now you've seen how to add expenses. There are two ways to do it, with SmartScan and by simply adding an expense. The next thing we're going to look at is something that's going to come hand in hand with adding expenses, which is really just another kind of expense in the form of time tracking.